Welcome to Linux Silk Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install and configure DNS server in CentOS 6. The domain name server resolves the host name for a particular IP address. The primary DNS server or the original zone handlers and secondary DNS server is just a backup server which is used to copy the same zone information from the primary DNS server. If we need to access any website, for example www.google.com in the browser, there will be a dot at the end of the www.google.com when you are searching the domain. The dot represents the root server of the namespace and globally there are 13 root servers available to resolve the query. First, the request will pass to the local resolver which has an entry about the master and the slave DNS server information. Then the requester query will pass pass the request to the top level domain. If the top level domain does not know about the request, it will pass the request to the authoritative server. The authoritative server will give the answer to the top level domain and pass it to the root server. The root server will provide the specific information to the browser. And the browser will cache the DNS request for the future use. If the DNS does not know the request, they will replay as the NX domain, which is no record. Now we can see the installation and configuration of DNS server. In this video, I am going to use a two minimal server of the CentOS 6 and one desktop version of CentOS 6. The two minimal server of the CentOS 6 is used as the primary DNS and secondary DNS. And the, the client machine is the CentOS 6 desktop. I have taken a SSH of the two minimal server. The Sound.222 machine is for configuring the primary DNS and the Sound.223 is for configuring the secondary DNS. First step you need to set the host name for the system. I have already set the host name which is primary DNS dot dot local and for setting the primary DNS you need to you need to configure the following file slash etc host and here you can see the I have entered the host name you need to enter your IP address and followed by the host name and you need to enter the host name in the another file that is etc sysconfig slash network here you can see the host name is entered after setting up the host name next you need to install the bind package then yum install bind asterisk hyphen y now give enter now the bind package installation is completed next you need to edit the name server configuration file the command is vim slash etc named dot corner and give enter here in the options here you can see the listen on port option the listen on port 53 is used to use for the dns to listen in the available interfaces here you need to add your primary dns ip address that is 192.168.7.2 222 semicolon and in the allo query you need to allow your network segment that is 192.168.7.0 slash 24 and you need to add another line that is allo hyphen transfer space curly braces and local host semicolon space 192.168.7.223 that is the secondary dns slave dns server here you need to add the semicolon and here you need to add the dns scc iphone look aside space auto this is the master dns ip and and this is the slave dns server that is the secondary dns next you need to define your zone Here's the configuration. You need to add the zone. Now paste it under the zone. You can see the zone. Here's the zone name and IN is the internet name. And the type is the master server. And the file for the primary DNS server. And allow update is none. Next you need to define the zone for the reverse lookup. The zone, the zone name, and the type is primary DNS server. And this is the file name for the reverse lookup and the allow update is none. Now save the configuration file and exit. Next you need to create the forward zone file under the var name directory. cd slash var named and create a file called forward dot linux help one. Now give enter and here's the configuration for the forward lookup zone. First is the TTL that is time to live. 
can enter your value for this and this is the start of authority configuration and here you need to mention the primary server the primary dns server and here's the name server that is primary dns and name server for the secondary dns and here's the a record for the primary dns and this is the a record this is the a record for the secondary dns and this is the client mission ip after adding the configuration to the file you can save the file and exit and next you need to create the for the reverse lookup it is reverse dot linux help one and here's the configuration for the reverse lookup and this also you need to start with the ttl and the the primary dns server name and next is the name server that is primary dns and the secondary dns server and uh, next you need to add the pointer record and then the a record for the primary dns secondary dns on the client machine and at last you need to add the pointers to the primary dns secondary dns for the client machine now save the file and exit next list the files ls l now here you can see the group ownership of the two files that are created that is forward.linux help one and reverse.linux help one the group ownership is root and we need to change the group ownership of the two files change group named slash forward dot linux help one now the file is changed to the named group ownership and change the reverse dot linux help one named reverse dot linux help one now give enter now list the files now you can see the group ownership is changed for the two files next we need to check for the error in the configuration file in the zone file that are created named hyphen check conf space slash etc named dot conf and give enter now you can see there is no error in the named dot conf file next we need to check for the errors in the zone files that are created named hyphen check zone space the file name next we need to enter the zone name that is linux help one dot local space the file name that is forward dot linux help one now you can see the status the file is okay next we can check for the reverse lookup zone file named check zone the zone name space the reverse dot linux help one now you can see the status is ok next you need to start the named service service named start now the name service is started to start the service at boot you need to run the check config named on now the named service will start at boot next you need to add the ip tables rules to allow the dns service now open the ip tables configuration file vi slash etc sysconfig ip tables now add the following ip table rules i need to add in between the output accept and commit and after adding the rules now save the file and exit now we need to save the ip tables rules service ip tables save now restart the ip tables service ip tables restart now run the check config command for the ip table check config ip tables on next you need to edit the result.conf file vi slash etc result.conf now you need to enter the search space the zone name that is linux help one dot local now we need to add the two name server this name server is primary dns dot linux help one dot local on the name server 2 that is secondary dns dot linux help one dot local now save the file and exit now we can check the dns server using the dig command dig the primary dns dot linux help one dot local now we need to check the dns server using the dig command dig space the primary dns server name now give enter you can see the primary dns server is working fine 
now next we can check for the available host in the dns using the ns lookup command ns lookup space zone name then excel one dot local now give enter now we can see the available host in the dns server now the configuration for the primary dns server is completed next we can configure the secondary dns server that is the slave dns server now i am in the secondary dns server that is sound.223 and the host name is secondary dns dot in excel one dot local now we can install the bind package in the secondary dns server m yeah. install bind asterisk iphone y now give enter now the installation is started this will take some time now the bind package is installed next you need to edit the etc name dot corner file vi press etc named dot conf i need to change the listen on port now enter the ip of the secondary dns that is the slave dns server 223 and allow query to 192.168.7.0 slash 24 the network segment next we need to add the line dns sec iphone look aside space auto next we can add the zone configuration here we have added the zone zone and the zone name and type is slave and you have mentioned the file name that is linux self one dot forward that is fwd and the master is the primary dns IP, server ip and the then the reverse lookup zone and the type is slave and the file is linux self one dot reverse that is rev and the master is the primary dns server ip now save the file and exit now we need to start the named service service named start and run the check config command for named service check config named space on now we need to edit the etc resolve corner file when vi slash etc resolve what kind of i need to add the following line search space the zone name it is linux self one dot local and the name server the primary dns and the secondary dns ip name server 192.168.7.222 and the secondary dns 192.168.7.223 now save the file and exit now restart the named service service named restart now we can list the files in the slaves directory we don't need to create the zone file in the secondary dns server it will be resolved from the primary dns server now we can list the files in the secondary dns server ls l slash var named slash slaves now we can see the forward lookup zone file and the reverse lookup zone file now we can view the files cat slash var named slaves and linux self one dot fwd this is the forward lookup zone file for the second dns server which is automatically generated and this is the reverse lookup zone file now we can see the client machine configuration now we can see the host name of the system this machine has the default host name that is localhost.local .local domain now we can uh, set the primary dns and secondary dns in the client machine using the setup command setup network configuration device configuration and select the network interface now we need to enter the primary dns and secondary dns server it, that is 192.168.7.222 and 192.168.7.223 now click ok save and save and quit quit you can also see the hostname file film slash etc sysconfig network you can see the hostname is the default hostname that is localhost or local domain now restart the network service network restart and check the host now we can check the host name of the system host name
now you can see the host name is changed to client dot linux one dot local the host name is assigned from the dns server the dns server installation and configuration in centos 6 is successfully done thank you for watching